Hey guys, and welcome to Rob J Outdoors. As I promised in my earlier video of my Wild Camp kit rundown, this week we're going to take a closer look at what's inside my medical pack and what's inside my emergency kit. So let's take a closer look. Okay guys, so here's the pack opened out. We'll go through each item bit by bit. Um, there's a few of them that you won't find in your average first aid kit and I'll talk about those as we come to them. So starting over here, we've got a standard Compede blister kit together with some antiseptic irrigating solution for those bothersome blisters. Over here I've got three different sizes of scalpel blades but the, the most common one is a number 11 blade absolutely ideal again for those bothersome blisters and once you've sorted out the blister we've got a pack of plasters together with some antiseptic wipes i've also got some steri strips in here as well for any slightly larger wounds moving down to the front again here's an item you won't normally find in a first aid pack these are suture packs to go with the suture packs i've got a pair of suture forceps um, i also keep here a pair of blunt nose scissors together with a scalpel handle gives you a bit more control over using the scalpel blades and also a pair of splinter forceps um, very very sharp needle points on those just take the protective cover off and they are absolutely ideal for digging up any bothersome blisters you might pick up on the trail I also keep down here again at the top of the pack some oral rehydration sorts handy. Um, up here we've got a spare foil blanket that goes with the one um, in my emergency pack, more about that later. And down here in this pack some sterile gloves. We've got the ever useful and essential pair of tough cut scissors, cut through absolutely anything with those. And over here on this side we've just got a variety of fabric dressings. Different size melanin dressings here, little five by fives. Um, as well as some more fabric dressing for those bothersome blisters. Moving over to this side, I've got a crepe bandage together with a variety of sizes of larger dressing as well. Um, in the top of my backpack, I do keep uh, military first field dressing, which is the largest dressing I carry. I've also got a couple of triangular bandages all compressed down here. Just moving back down to the front again, at uh, the very front here, spare Siloom red glow stick. And down here I've got a small pack of small syringes together with hypodermic needles and antiseptic wipes again. That's normally used in conjunction with a local anaesthetic in case I need to do any suturing. Rest assured, if I do guys, um, it's only on me. So it's a little bit Rambo-like, but um, if I come across you on the hill and uh, you've got a slightly deeper wound, I won't be suturing it. I shall just be applying some pressure and uh, calling 999. Down here, I've also got a number three adult size airway. Over here, um, a few medicines. We've got some hydrocortisone cream and some antibiotic cream down here as well. Again, very useful. I've also got some temporary cavity filling as well just in case one of your fillings happens to falls out you can buy these uh, I think I got this one from Boots so they're pretty readily available little emergency dental packs again here some more oral rehydration some classic Dioralite and uh, also the opposite we got some fiber gel orange here as well a few other little medicines here I've got some aspirin I've got some anti-inflammatories um, I've also got some ibuprofen in here and um, some Imodium as well, an essential for any first aid kit, for any travel you're doing. And uh, I've also got some slightly stronger analgesics down there. So that's the extent of my medical pack, guys. And all of that fits very nicely into this little pouch here. These pouches are pretty readily available online. I can't remember where I got this one from, but um, I will put links to a couple of... Um, a couple of suppliers underneath in the video description and I think this was somewhere around about 12 to 15 pounds. Most of this equipment is available through Boots but again I will give you some um, suppliers that I use 
um, where you can get a lot of this from for a lot cheaper than you'd normally buy it on the high street. So that's my med pack, guys. That goes with me everywhere. So now let's have a closer look at my emergency pack. Okay, so now let's take a look at what goes into my emergency pack. Firstly, over here, I've got a little waterproof container with some lifeboat matches in and a striker. Next to that is my pen signal flare kit. This was from BCB, but um, I don't believe they supply to the public anymore. I think they only do contract. But these are readily available from Payne's Wessex, who do all the lifeboat flares. And I shall put a link to um, a couple of suppliers in the video description below. Not cheap. Um, they're around about the 55, 60 pound mark, but well worth it, especially if you're out on the hills in the UK at any time of the year. I've got a vacuum packed sleeping bag there it's called, but it's a, a bivy bag, a military issue bivy bag. I've got here red Siloom snap light and at the front here in a nice little pouch a heliograph. I've also got here a few cable ties, absolutely invaluable for just about everything and all that fits almost very nicely into a foam neck brace and all of that lot packs into a standard size Ziploc bag. So that's the review of my medical pack and my emergency pack as well guys. So once again um, leave a thumbs up if you like the video. I hope you found it useful. Leave any suggestions or comments you may have below and um, once again thanks for watching. So until next time see ya.